Praise the Lord. Buona sifiwe. Welcome, welcome to our brief Bible reflection. As we continue encouraging one another in the Lord, that in God we have all what we need. It is yet another time that the Lord has given unto us. We continue saying, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are reading from Psalm 91, a very familiar uh, scripture, a very familiar chapter. And so we will do verse 1 and 2. And the Bible says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Praise the Lord. We are reminding one another that there is safety in abiding in the presence of God. When you abide in the presence of the Lord, you are sure that you are secure. As we look at these two verses, we are referring to our, po our position as children of God, that he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide. Where? Under the shadow of, of the Almighty. And the psalmist says, I will say of the Lord, what are you saying? He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him I will trust. Three things that I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. Is the Lord your refuge today? And he is also my fortress. And this God who is my God, I will trust in him. The Lord is reminding us that we must get to a, po a point where we can say, the Lord is my refuge. He is my fortress and he is my God. In him, I will trust. This is great confidence that yes, amid challenges, because I know who God is to me, he is my refuge. I am not exposed. I am not alone. I have God with me. And by this, we are reminding ourselves that, yes, you know, God has not promised to keep us from life's storms, the storms that we experience day by day, but he has promised to keep us through the storms. What are you facing today? I want to remind you that get into such kind of a relationship where you can confidently say, the Lord is my refuge. Yes, the storm is so strong. And it is, the wind is blowing so harshly, but I have this confidence, the Lord is my refuge and my fortress. In him, I will trust. Have such a relationship that yes, the Lord, you carry me through this storm because he's my refuge and my fortress. And my trust is not in anybody else. My trust is in the Lord. Those who have put their trust in the Lord and their hope in God, they have someone to rely on. And this someone is God himself. In every circumstance, we have God with us. You know, we can say with great confidence that the Lord is my refuge, my fortress, and in him I will trust. Can you say so with confidence? Can you say so? Yes, even in this kind of a storm that you are facing, can you say that, you know, with all the confidence because you have such a relationship with God. And the psalmist is saying, you know, I, I, my, uh, my, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Very personal. He is my refuge and my fortress. In whom? I will trust. Make the Lord your personal friend. And even through the storms, you will say, I have someone I can rely on. And this is none other but the Lord God Almighty. Why? He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, you know, under the shadow of the Almighty. We shall abide. Even when the enemy thinks that he has swept us off, we shall abide because we have purposed.
to dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And this will give us great confidence to talk about the Lord being my refuge and my fortress. And we declare with great confidence that in him I will trust. May the Lord bless you. God keep you. Trust in him. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.